Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up your uh, Toshiba Dynabook Tecra without the Microsoft account. So at first select the country or region of course, then the um, keyboard layout. If you want to add a second keyboard layout you can click on add layout, then there is the internet connection part and don't connect just yet. And if you already have then <clears throat> I would recommend if there is a button to disconnect, disconnect, but if there is not uh, I would recommend just walking away from the router so you don't have the connection anymore because we really can't have the connection in order for this to be available. So um, it's just very important for you to not have the connection. Then click on Shift and F10 on your keyboard. So as you can see here is the Shift key or here and the F10 is here. So click on them at once and it will open uh, this command um, window. So um, click on uh, the top of it to focus on it first and now uh, type in uh, the OOBE slash bypass NRO. So the O's are letters, not the number O. Um, there is no spaces at all and this is the exact command you should type in. Um, no, sorry, uh, it should be I think the backslash instead. So I'm just gonna uh, type in the backslash. So it should be looking like that. And now it'll restart your laptop. It may take up to a few minutes and after that we'll continue with the setup. And now uh, you need to select the country or region again. Then select the keyboard or input method again and um, also the second one if you want. I'm gonna skip it. And the option I don't have internet has appeared so that's what you should, uh, you should select. You shouldn't connect to the internet now. Mm, then click on next to agree to the mm, agreement and enter the mm, account uh, name. So just enter the name you want to set. Then you can set a password. If you don't want a password, just click on next without entering anything here. But I would highly recommend setting up a password anyway. And if you set the password, you will have free security questions to select an answer. Um, and please do your best to not forget these answers. So uh, it's, it's best to actually um, answer truthfully. Uh, not that they need uh, that information, it's just that if you lie in these questions, you're just gonna forget the answers to them and they are um, important for you to restore your account in case you forget the password. Then you'll be asked these security questions and if you answer the same as you did while setting up this password, uh, then you'll be good to go. Then click on next and uh, you can set up the face recognition if you want. So I'm going to do that. Just look straight into the camera for a moment and it will be set. You can also instead of the face recognition can set up the fingerprint or you can set up the fingerprint later. Um, before setting up the face recognition there was a button to set the fingerprint by the way. And then um, if you set the face you should also set a pin which will be sort of the same thing as a password but not. 
um, and you can include letters and symbols in it as well but I'm gonna make it only numerical so I don't really need to then uh, you can just select these options yourself depending on your preferences so I highly recommend uh, deciding on your own Now it'll finish setting up your account. And now uh, it is finished, everything is done and now you can connect to the internet. So just like click on this button right here at the bottom, click on the arrow and you can connect to the internet or leave it without the internet of course in case you don't want that internet and that's all for today don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time